In this video, we will add some scripted validation to Postman to check that requests that we send are the way we expect. And we're going to do that without much coding. So Postman is a tool that supports our manual interactive testing of APIs. We can create requests, we can send them to the API, and we can look at the response to see if the API call worked as we expected. Now, a lot of tools can do that. One of the benefits for Postman is that it allows us to write JavaScript code, which can assert on the responses and automatically check the response. So this code on screen checks that the status of the message is 200, meaning it was a success. And the tests are automatically reported. When I send the request, the code in the test will run and the results will be shown in the test results tab. Now I can use this to support my exploratory testing by adding common assertions into the test tab and they'll always be run when I do my exploratory testing. So I never have to check whether it was a 200 message because it will always be asserted. I can move towards more automated validation of the application by using the Postman runner to create a set of requests which are automatically sent and the assertions automatically reported on each time. And you can even add this into a continuous integration process if you want to. So in this video, we will use the snippets feature to create a script with no coding knowledge. To support that, I'll create a basic get request in Postman. We'll send that, then we'll use the snippets feature of the test tab to write assertions, and we'll run those assertions in the GUI. So first, I'll create a simple request to support this tutorial. Let me get Postman up. So I have an application running on my machine. If I make a request to the to-dos list, I will see that there are two to-dos in this application. And those are hard coded in this application, so they're always there. So I can assert on this nice and easily. So in the real world, if I was testing this application, I would check whether the status code was 200. I would check the content type to make sure it was present and what I was expecting. I'd make sure the body was JSON and whatever other conditions that I can think of when I'm testing this. Now I can automate some of these conditions without coding. So I could check the status code. So if I go into tests and then I look at the snippets functionality on the side here, one of these is gonna be status code, code is 200. I click on that and it writes some code in the tests for me. Now this is JavaScript code. So we will eventually have to learn how to write JavaScript and we will eventually have to learn the Postman API, but we can start just by learning how to read this. This says, this Postman test called status code is 200 is a JavaScript function which expects the Postman response to have a status of 200. If I wanted to check for a 400 response, I would change the name. I would change this to be 400. I'm happy with a status code of 200 because that's what I'm expecting in my test. So then if I run this, I'll send that request and we can see now that the test results tab says it passed because the status code is 200. Now, every time I run a test, I want to make sure that that assertion works. So I'm going to put in a URL that does not exist. When I send this, I'm expecting a 404. So there we go. I've got 404 status and the test has failed because it was asserting on the status code of 200. So that's good news. We've got a test that actually works. Now, I can also assert on content type. So if I put a new line in here, go over to the side, I can say that I'm expecting a response of headers. So here the content type is present. This test says, Postman test called content type is present which is a function where we expect Postman response to have the header content type. And if I run that, it will make sure that the content type is present. What this doesn't do is assert on the type of content type. So I'm not asserting whether the response is application JSON. To do that, I need to learn a little bit more about JavaScript and how it works and a little bit more about the API for the Postman scripting. But for the moment, we can add some very simple assertions into our test tab and validate the, re the requests. 
To really take advantage of this, we need to learn a little bit more about the snippets in Postman can give you a good introduction to the capabilities of this API, and it's worth experimenting with those.